Jigs. Bridget, Amanda. Quite right. Amanda, get back in line. Rachel, can you get up here and do that part in the middle of the second step? Just the rhythm? Yeah. Five, six, seven, eight. Great. Now, Bridget. Five, six, seven, eight. Not quite. I know it's a tough rhythm. Let's listen to Rachel again, okay? Perfect. Thank you, Rachel. Let's do it again. Five, six, seven, eight. The rhythm goes yada ta yada ta yada ta da. Again. Yada ta yada ta yada ta da. That's it. Next two. Five, six, seven, eight. She's so nauseating. Honestly, Bridget, you're just as good as her. You just need to practice more. You sound just like my mom. I saw her watching her again. If she could dance for me, I swear she would. You spend all your free time watching TV when you could be practicing. Can I have breaks? All that Rachel doesn't take the kind of breaks you do. I'm in practice almost every day of the week. The step in your jig isn't going to get better overnight. I know, Mom. I'm not stupid. You know, my gymnastics career didn't come from me lying around all day. What career? It's not like you were an Olympian. Well. If you weren't so lazy, maybe you would have made it to Worlds by now. I don't need to practice anymore, Mom, okay? I'll be fine. Welcome to the West Coast Fish. Up next is Rachel Anderson from the Kieran Academy of Irish Dance and Caitlin Thomas from the O'Brien School of Irish Dance. Shoulders back, face up. And don't forget to smile. Wait! I wouldn't want you to get points marked off for your socks falling down. Up next is Bridget Donahue from the Kieran Academy of Irish Dance and Camille Daniels from the Ryan School of Irish Dance. Maybe we should enroll you in some ballet classes. It'll help with your flexibility. Why, because Rachel takes ballet? Well, Rachel got first today. She must be doing something right. If you could just lift your legs a little higher. It's not enough for you that I place top three? Dad would have been happy. Look, Bridget. If you want to qualify for Worlds next month, you're going to have to learn to lift the way she does. I don't think I want you at the next fesh. What? The way you talk about dancing, it just takes all the fun out of it. I thought your goal was to make worlds this year. 
Okay, I can I can drive myself. Okay, you don't need to come. Aren't you listening to you? <laughs> it's the jig again. Are you not tired of hearing the song? I just want to make sure that these steps really stick. You're driving yourself crazy over this dance. You know, whatever it takes to qualify. And now you sound like your mom. <laughs> it's just a trophy at the end of the day. Just go out there and have fun with it. <laughs> Don't forget your sock glue. I got it. I can't tell you anything, can I? Now when you control every aspect of my life, just give me a chance to breathe. <laughs> Bridget, all I try to do is what's best for you. What's best for me? Really, you don't know the first thing about that. If dad were here. Well, dad isn't here. I'm all you've got. You want me to be perfect all the time. It's always you never practice enough. Your timing was off. Stand up straight. Why can't you be more like Rachel, Rachel, Rachel? Bridget, this is your last chance. This is exactly what I'm talking about. And I'm done. Just... Let me do this by myself. Welcome to the Western Regional World Qualifying Fish. In Hall B, we'll begin the U17 competition shortly. Up next is Bridget Donahue from the Kieran Academy of Irish Dance and Isabella Palmer from the O'Connor School of Irish Dance.
We will now announce the winners of the U17 Championship Competition. In third place is competitor 211, Isabella Palmer. Second place goes to competitor 94, Rachel Anderson. And the first place winner is competitor 315, Bridget Donahue. Sorry too. 